from hilarious moments to absolute tearjerkers and full-on highly intense moments, Resident Alien has it all. Now that its third season is done with its production cycle, fans are excited for a good reason. With that said, when does the new season come out? Fans of the show have been waiting for more news on a new season for a really long time now, especially since they've been on a long break since the end of the second season. But bear in mind that there really isn't an official date for the season's release, at least by the time I'm making this video. But that definitely doesn't mean that it won't be happening. Or that it's going to end up in that never-ending list of incredible shows that got cancelled. The most probable reason for this is that they just haven't gotten around to working on a new schedule yet. But there are a lot of positives that point towards the season actually being made. In fact, if recent reports are anything to go by, then the show already started filming around the end of January 2023. Not just that, but because it's much shorter this time, it's only going to take three months to create. So you can expect it to be at least done by May of the same year. But before I get into more details, here's a look at the background of the third season. For anyone that isn't familiar with the show itself, warning, there are spoilers ahead. Resident Alien is basically an adaptation of a comic book series made by Dark Horse by the same name. It's being produced by Dark Horse Entertainment, Amblin TV, and UCP altogether. The show generally follows the show of an alien that ends up crashing and landing all the way on Earth. It might seem like E.T. at times, but in the show, the alien has a secret mission to make sure that all of humanity is destroyed. Not just that, but the alien can disguise itself as well. Of course, to do that, he has to fit into human society as well, so it ends up creating a pretty amusing narrative. But later on, the alien starts to question the morality of it all, and ends up switching sides, as you've seen in the second season. Now, in the third season, things are going to pick off from there, as he struggles against his own kind, and probably tries to find some peace between the two species. Or it could go in the opposite direction, and he could take on the aliens themselves. With that said, this season is going to be much shorter. It's actually pretty surprising that they decided to go with 8 episodes instead of 12. Why is that? The show was the main thing that sci-fi had going for itself, so you'd think they'd keep it at the top of their list. Bringing the episodes down could be good or bad, depending on how well they actually execute the narrative. With that change, the upcoming season could end up being the shortest one from the entire show. It's weird that they would change that, though. The 12-episode formula was working great for them. Do they just not have that long of a story to tell anymore? It worked so well that the first season that came out back in 2021 was immediately one of their best shows. I mean, the show ended up bringing in incredible reviews from fans and critics alike from the get-go, with many people watching it. Even the second season was just as much of a success and ended up in the 15 most-watched shows and 5 most-watched cable dramas for the first 6 episodes. But the second half of the second season could explain why they're just not making as many episodes this time, especially since ratings dropped by a lot for the last 6 episodes. So, now they're probably taking their time and countermeasures to ensure the show does as well. But even though it saw a decline in that short period, it's not like it did badly, just not as well. In fact, it ended up being nominated for Best Cable Comedy Series once again. That too at the Hollywood Critics Association TV Awards and at the Saturn Awards. On the other hand, I have to talk about the possible cast members. While there isn't an official list of all the actors that are going to show up in the upcoming season, Tomko did put up a post on Instagram that gives you some hints. Basically, most of the cast members, at least those who were a main part of the second season, will definitely come back. But before I get into the cast, let's look at who will be producing the upcoming season. 
Justin Falvey and Daryl Frank from Amblin TV are coming onto the show as its executive producers. Not just that, they are also joined in by Chris Sheridan, Mike Richardson, and Keith Goldberg from Dark Horse Entertainment. On the acting side, you've got Jenna Lamia, Judah Pren, and Elizabeth Bowen coming back onto the show. Alongside them are Alice Wetterland and Meredith Gerritsen, also making a return. Speaking of Season 3, here are some new things to expect from it, such as fake Harry's identity. It's obvious that, at some point, he's going to have to tell people who he really is. Unless everyone in the show is just plain ignorant. But that gets annoying, and I doubt the people behind the show would want that. But the more time he spends between humans, the more likely it is that people find out who and what he really is. Not just that, but they might find out about his mission, and it could cause a huge panic. Until the second season, only a bunch of people knew about his identity, along with the US government. The show's showrunner also had a few words to say about it. Saying that it's a huge turn into the story, and it's not something that can just happen out of nowhere and needs a lot of things to be set up before it. Only when the show needs new energy and the current group starts to get boring for people, are they going to add in another person who knows his secret. But until then, it doesn't seem like anyone else is going to find out about it. Especially since, at the moment, there really isn't a proper reason for it anyways, it's just too early. And finally, something fishy is going on. Back in the second season of the show, Peter Bach, who's better known as the alien tracker, suddenly went missing. That made the police really suspicious, and they are now finally looking into what caused it. There's something weird going on in that town, and no one's ready to accept that it could be aliens. Especially Mike. But while Mike doesn't really believe that there's some secret conspiracy coming to life in his town, he can't help but notice the strange things going on. So while he won't outright accept that there are aliens, he won't dismiss it and will listen and look into it. At least, that's what the showrunner of Resident Alien says. But it's actually a really funny situation. Why? Well, because Mike is known to be a huge conspiracy theory nerd, and his not being able to realize that aliens are behind everything is just funny. I guess even someone like him has to realize that it starts to sound ridiculous at some point. That's been a look at all you need to know about the third season of Resident Alien.